All right, I'm excited. We got our concrete mixer and flatbed truck here ready to go, as well as a backhoe to dig out some uh, drainage pipes for our wonderful two-story home. Let's go ahead and get uh, started then by uh, deploying our support beams. How do we do that in this truck? Oh, I think it's this function. There we go. All right, check that out. We're deploying the legs. Vehicle stabilized. All right, so now we just got to dig out this ditch so that way we can lay some pipes with the uh, flatbed truck. Got to go pick them up from the store, so let's see how digging works in this game. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. I dig out a little trench here. Pretty full. I think we'll just leave a we'll leave a pile over on this side. The digging works really smooth. I like it. Right, there we go. First uh, delivery done. Let's see if we can grab another uh, little bit of soil. There we go. Perfect. So far so good. I think we can pick this up later with the truck if we want to. You can see the daytime just ticking by. Look at that. We're gonna be working well into the hours of the night. I can just see the shadows coming by. It was high noon before. Uh, let's see if we can get another bit of soil. Oh, yeah, this is working perfectly. I'll just have to make sure I get the bucket more full. But practice will make perfect with no first-person mode. That make it a little easier, but no can do in this game. All right, let's go ahead and grab a little bit more here. There we go. Man, this music is like, what is this, chip tunes from, like, a <laughs> Sega Genesis or something? All right, I think we got as much as we can for this first pile. I'm going to just make one final scoop along the bottom just to make sure we got everything. Oh, hold on. A little more, little more scoop. There we go. All right, I think we got it all. All right, let's reset the vehicle. And we'll move elsewhere. Uh, how do I do that? Oh, yeah, enter driving mode. There we go. Oh, it's pretty quick. All right, let's get it from the other side now. We'll go... Uh, oh, this is going to be an interesting... Uh, dig on this side. So the trench so far is looking good. We also have to pour concrete and deliver piping. And uh, that should be a fun time. Alright, this should be... Uh, let's see. Should be a little tougher to get around here. But we should be able to do it with our wonderful cat backhoe. There we go. Get a little closer. A little closer. Oh! She, go <laughs> she goes turbo and, re and forward. Reverse is uh, really a slow gear. Alright. Back into backhoe mode. And there we go. All right, some more digging to do. Luckily, we have a little reticle on the ground that helps us to uh, dig. Though first person and little practice would be a little bit more uh, enjoyable, I'd say. But, uh, oh well. Can't have your cake and eat it too sometimes. Uh, pick up the arm. There we go. We'll make another little pile over here. Where's my music? I want some more music, man. Give me some more tunes. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I guess this will have to do for now, as I can't really get in at the perfect angle. But we're making it. Okay. Wow, look at the cars driving by. The whole neighborhood's alive. There's lots of other uh, different areas to go to as well. Like, uh, there's areas that are more uh, forested and areas that are more of a downtown city. This is kind of like the old American West. More modernized, though. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad on this. Let's take a look at the... Uh, uh oh don't want to click that button. Let's take a look at the hole. Hey, not too bad. Oh, there's my tunes. There we go. Alright, we're getting closer. Alright, let's dig out some more. There we go. Hey, not too bad for my first job. I'm liking it. Come back a little... A little closer now. There we go. We'll just have to get the other side. All right. Right about here should do. Oh, I'm just barely scraping the ground. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Well, that's looking pretty good. Now, as, as we get to a certain percentage, I think the game will just let us uh, go on. But let's grab... Can I grab all the way out here? Oh. oh barely. Oh, I didn't want to dig out. I wanted to dig further back. That's okay. However, let me see if I can dig over here and then we'll go to a new area. I just want to see if I can dig right here. The bucket's too close, I think. Nope. I guess not. Oh, perfect. All right, now let's go to the other side and go for the final stretch. So far, so good, though. Back into driving mode. Oh, retract selected components. There we go. All right. That makes it easier. 
All right. Backup is nice, but when you go forward, this thing's got like a turbocharger in it when you're going forward. Look at that. Woo! All right. Let's try to dig out from over here now. Since we have our flatbed in the way. I'm going to back over this pile. There we go. And we should be able to stabilize like right here. Actually, this might be perfect. All right. Nice. Right on top of the pile. Okay. Almost there. Perfect. I think we'll make another pile on the inside. Let's actually see if we can take a better look at this place. Oh yeah, in this game, if you right-click, it like brings you back to the menu, which boggles my mind. Alright, some more dirt. This million dollar home is going to be worth maybe at least $500,000 when I'm done with it. I don't think we have to go any deeper. I think we just have to... Let's actually, you know, let's dump that off. Let's try to get a little, little closer. We uh, pick this up and bring it in a bit. Should be good. Uh, come on now, Bucket, swing back. I'm telling the Bucket to swing in. Like that. Come on, Bucket, I need you to scrape. There we go. All right. Well, the controls work very fluidly. Not too bad. They definitely do uh, respond quite nicely. The driving of the backhoe is a little, little different story, but the actual digging is rather nice. Seems like we're getting stuck, though. Come on, backhoe. I want to dig dig a trench, but it's not letting me. I'll just try to start a little closer instead. Eh, better. I think with a little bit more dirt, they'll let us go. Let's come back. Let's try a different angle here. There we go. That helps. This makes me miss uh, first person, though, in the original. Makes it a little easier when you're trying to be precise. Multiple cameras is nice, though. There we go. Well, it's certainly not bad. I keep digging that area out. I don't want that area. Let's try this one. Let's try to get real close to the backhoe now. There we go. Now that's looking like a trench. And looking like a trench. Alright, let's switch this uh, truck out of the way. We're going to move the CAT CT660 over to the other side so we have a chance to uh, get in here with the backhoe. Woo! Well, that thing's got some power. Alright, back to the backhoe we go. And uh, let's roll things in again. Nice that you have an easy option to do that. So you don't, you can choose to put it back into its position yourself, or you can just click and do it your uh, do it do it that way automatically. And that's a Kenworth over there, a Liber uh, concrete mixer with a Kenworth truck on it. Very nice. Right, let's swing over this way and into the uh, trench we go again. Actually, it might need to be a little further away. Let's try that. Back up a little more. There we go. That should be perfect. Okay. Function mode. All right. Let's dig this hole. Day-night cycle here is almost leaving us into nighttime. But we can still see. There we go. Right there. It should be fine. Very nice. See if I can reach all the way out there. Oh, perfect! Task completed. Hey, we were doing exactly what we were supposed to. Very nice. All right, we need to leave the blue area, so let's go ahead and reset. And we just need to get our vehicle out of there. We're hanging over the edge just a little bit. 
Perfect. All right, I think we can park this over here. Oh, after some time. What do you mean after, after some time? Oh, they dug the hole out for us. You're going to need some fresh concrete for your next task. Remember to fill up your mixer at the gravel pit and desert springs. All right, let's get to it then. Time to go pick up some concrete. Woo! All right, this is nice. I'm going to turn the game music down a little bit. Let me see if I can do that. The music's nice, but I want to hear that engine now. Let's see here. Oh, and yeah, you can even change the hydraulic controls, or uh, I think you can even possibly make it automatic as well if you want to, or manual if, if that's if that's your uh, fancy. Wow, the music was already down. All right there, that's perfect. All right, very good. I just want to be able to hear the big O truck. Okay, so now let's check our map. Where is the concrete mixer? Concrete uh, gravel station. There's our training post. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is a materials dealer. That's our home base. Uh, what is this place? Well, oh, actually, that's the vehicle dealer. What's this then? Home base. Oh, and the actual that's the part part dealers. Uh, hmm. Where's the gravel place? Must be out here somewhere. That looks like a whole new neighborhood out there. We're gonna have to go find this place. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, this looks industrial up here. But I don't think that's what we're looking for, though. They said in Desert Springs. We're going to have to find this place, then. I think we will start searching, uh... I guess the industrial area is probably more than likely. To unlock Northridge. Oh, that's a different place. Okay. Oh, these are all different places. Westgate over here. And then, uh, Sunny Hills. Okay. Well, where's our gravel dealership here? There's, uh, some trailer homes there. All the other homes. And then the highway. Ah, that must be the gravel site right there. They just don't let me actually mark it. Okay, so we're going to have to head down the road. I wonder if I can teleport. Does it let me actually go there? Vehicle dealer, building supplies? Nope. So we're going to have to travel to the gravel site ourselves. And there is traffic law in this game too, so you'll need to make sure you don't run any red lights. Or run into your own vehicles. I guess we're going to execute a 42-point turn here today. Alright, let me uh, make sure I got our bearings. So we have to head uh, west, I think. Also, I don't think this game uh, incorporates right-hand turns on red. So we'll have to watch out for that. Alright, so it looks like we actually have to go... Oh, we're going east instead. Alright, so we're going to go... Uh, we'll take a left and get onto the highway there. Perfect. Not a problem. Here we go. Intersection and down to the gravel plant. Wow, driving this truck is a little strange without without a steering wheel. I'm so used to American Truck Simulator, but it sounds great. It really does sound like a uh, Kenworth. What's the speed limit here? Thirty. We still got to obey the rules, otherwise we'll get pulled over. I don't want no speeding ticket or arrest. Don't want to get arrested. I wish the mini-map was in a different position, too. I wish you could actually, like, move it over to the side or make it smaller. It seems a little big and almost in the center of the screen. I wish I could move it up or over to the side. I don't, I don't think I can actually turn it off. Maybe I can. Nope. Oh, look at that. Gas station there. I don't know if we ever have to fuel up our vehicles. Also, wouldn't certainly be a giant roundabout in the middle of the desert either. All right, here's the gravel plant. Too bad they don't mark it on our map for us. All right, concrete is right lane, so let's stay over here. Big old gravel pit. Welcome. All right, this is it. This is what we were looking for. So we're looking for concrete. Cool how they label it out and uh, make lanes and everything. That's nice. All right. Let's go pick up some concrete. Whoa. I feel like it's easier to drive the flatbed truck than it is the concrete mixer. 
Holy crap, this thing is huge. It has a huge turning radius. Alright, there we go. Back on track. Alright, let's get ourselves some concrete now. A little more forward. Oh, a little more in reverse. Oh, there we go. Just press F. There we go. Almost full, halfway. All right, a little bit more and we're fully filled. There we go. Oh, wow. We had to pay for that concrete? I guess it makes sense. That's right, we'll build a consumer. Oh my goodness, man. The driving is so huge on this thing. It's actually very difficult to drive this without first-person mode. The sounds are absolutely great. about Now we're back with the concrete. I think we can just back it right in over here. I wish it was a time uh, of day, like you could see what time of day it was. Right, we need to switch back to a static orbit camera, otherwise it becomes too hard to drive. There we go. Perfect. So we just need to fill the casing. I don't know how close we need to be. I think right about here should be okay. Well, right, let's give it a shot. Uh, it'll probably come out a little further than that, so let's go forward a bit. Concrete's going to come right out of the back of the uh, truck. So I think right about... Oh, well, there's like no, no ability to control our speed, so that makes it a little difficult to get perfect, but I think that's good, so let's go ahead and start dumping that concrete. Oh, a little forward. There we go. That's right on target. Looks like it. Is it not? Oh, there we go. I can see it filling up. Should be... We'll need to fill it up to the top. I don't know why it's not uh, going along there. All right, let me go ahead and stop this for now. Okay, let's go over to the other side. Back over to the corner. There we go. All right, back to concrete pouring. to tell if we're actually getting it looks like it's going in there but it's not filling up all the way let's go around to the other side now you can see how this house is going to look when we're done
A little more forward, and we should be perfect. Although, forward gear has no chill. Yeah, it's very difficult to be super precise. Okay, let's go ahead and start pouring concrete. We know we needed to go forward, though. We can do this, though. Try to get the other side. I'm assuming this is for some sort of bay window or something. Forward again. Very difficult to be precise with these controls. But we're getting it. Make sure I got the other side too. Luckily, none of the concrete goes to waste if it doesn't land in there. We won't have to make a second trip. Okay, let's see if we can. Uh Okay, we should be ready to dump some more concrete. Let's see, see if this swings out far enough. Oh, we gotta be a little closer. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Turn that off. All right, let's try this. So it seems like we have to be even closer. Hey, we got it. All right, clear the area with the T880 concrete mixer. All right, the concrete has been uh, poured. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and try to get out of here. It's going to be a tight space. Perfect. Stage complete. Concrete here is done for now. Place the following object at the target position in blue. We'll need a pallet of MDF and one pallet of lumber from the uh, Desert Springs uh, material dealer. All right, I'll go ahead and park the uh, concrete mixer over here then. Get her out of the way. There we go. All right, let's switch to our flatbed truck, the Cat CT60 and PK27002. And let's go over to the material dealer. Cool thing we can do in this game, too, is if we don't want to, we can just we can teleport to save on, uh, you know, driving and everything like that. It's a little costly, but it definitely makes for a much easier experience. Okay, now we have to buy some stuff. Let's go ahead and enter the building material dealer. And let's go ahead and buy, what did we need? One thing of MDF and one thing of lumber. So we're looking for MDF. There we go. Oh, it's already marked. Look at that one we need. And then MDF. Or no, the other thing is uh, lumber. We already have that. MDF has already been purchased. There's the lumber. Okay, so one of each. And let's go ahead and make our purchase. How do I, uh, how do I just make the buy? Go to, oh, to go. Oh, one to go, I see. We gotta click on them each individually. Got it. I thought there would be a big checkout menu, you know, like add to cart and then check out. All right, there we go. So now we got our pallet of MDF and we got our pallet of lumber. And there they are. Okay, let's get a little closer. Nice to have a cat truck with us. She looks nice. There we go. 
These vehicles don't really have much of any chill when it comes to accelerating. They like to accelerate immediately, and it causes a lot of uh, difficulty in controlling yourself in very tight spaces. So it's like 0 to 100 real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and raise the crane. It's alive! And, uh... Should be able to turn it now. No? Oh, there we go. Now we can turn it. Alright, we'll start with the boards. Nice. Can we fit these? Oh, yeah, they're going to want us to rotate. Okay. So in this game, I wanted to get close to see how exactly uh, we needed to rotate it. It seems things in this game lock into place, so we can do that that way. So let's lift it up. We don't want to hit the edge of the truck. Oh, it looks like we can put it back here, too. Let's put it towards the front. Will it let us do that? Let's see if we can change our camera here. That makes it easier. There we go. Well, that's perfect. No, right here. Look, it's perfect. Oh, they don't want us to put it there? Okay, I guess they moved it to there. Okay, well, my job is done there. Now let's move on to the next one. Should be able to hook here. Perfect. I guess we'll just set it right next to the boards. Oh, we can even set it on top, huh? Well, let's set it right next to it. And I guess since it does this auto thing, we'll just let it do that. Okay, perfect. Let's enter. Uh, let's strap down, and let's enter enter driving mode. Oh, right. We got to reset, then enter driving mode. Perfect. All right. Let's head back to the construction site. Here we go. Bam, 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 bam. Wow, look at that. That looks super awesome. Look at how cool that is. That construction site like that. That really looks really, really looks awesome. Okay, looks like we're good to uh, drop the legs. And deliver ourselves some cargo. Alright, we'll start with the boards first. No, let's do the MDF. Well, that crane really deploys nicely. All right. Now let's go ahead and unstrap the cargo and prepare to hook. Doing some fishing. There we go. That works pretty smoothly. Okay, that's one piece of cargo down. That was a nice delivery. Very good. Now on to the next one. Let's see if we can be just as good with that one. Just need to get over the top of the boards. And we are good to go. Looks pretty solid there, too. Look at that. Two for two. Very nice. All right, let's do our quick cap. Clear the area of the uh, flatbed crane. All right. Reset. Enter driving mode. Let's get out of here. Actually, I think it'll be fine as soon as that leg folds in. Sure is. All right. Nice. So the foundation of the home is complete. Oh, and look at that. All these boards need to be lifted up into place now. Can we use the crane for that? Is that what our next task is? I've not done this before. Although there's some boards here. Hmm, interesting. What's our next task? Oh, place the following objects at their target. Three wood frames and a wood window frame. Interesting. So we actually have to lift the... So we can use the crane again then. Hopefully we don't crush any of the boards. Oh, it's going to be close. Well, that's okay. We got it. All right. Deploy the crane.
All right. Actually, this is really weird. I don't. I don't think some. I don't think some of these are gonna fit. Look at this one on the right. It looks a little too big for that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's give it a shot. Okay. Now I don't know where this is supposed to go specifically. Because I don't... Oh, it's supposed to go in the front? Oh, this one's going in the front. Okay. Kind of weird that they put it on the side. So this is the front door of the house. So let's put our front door onto our mansion. Every home's a mansion if you think about it. All right. Oh, that's perfect. We'll just drop it right in. And then let's rotate. Go this way. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Absolutely perfect. Nice. And then as we lower it down, it should, should come back a little bit. Well, we need to try to be precise with these crane controls. Oh. Well, this isn't the job for one person. You'd have to have another person on the ground with a rope making sure she doesn't twist. But seems to be pretty good. That's good enough. There we go. All you got to do is be close. Good job. We could cover all of our costs and made a small profit of $2,000. we are having a monthly payment of $14. You'll need to find more details there. Uh, your rental rate is pretty high. You should check and see if you have a rent. Oh, yeah. We're renting a concrete mixer right now, which is not too bad. We need it for the job. But when we complete... We're going to earn like $96,000, so he's not going to be complaining too much about the money, I think, very soon. We're making all that cash. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. Now, I don't know if there's a frontwards and backwards to these windows, so we'll just try to put them in. Seems like it could be rather universal. Well, that's really cool that we have to do this part. Right, let's swing in there. Uh, we'll just go with it. There we go. I don't want to have to rotate every window. This one we should be able to pop right in, though. If we lift this one up and put it right in there, it should be perfect. Let's see if we can pick this one up without looking. Let's see how good I am with the crane. Got it. Sweet. All right, let's pick it straight up. That should be good. Yeah. That's right. Perfect. And... Should have another one here. Close enough. Good. I guess that's supposed to simulate at least getting the cargo to its position, and then if there were actual construction workers on the site... You'd have a couple people push it the rest of the way. All right, this one's going to be a little harder. We better look for this one. At least I was over the target. Another good one. All right. McMansion build, here we come. Wow, look at that. They've already built the rooms and everything. You can see where the hallway is going to be. Bedroom, possibly a kitchen, bathroom. That's going to be neat. I wonder if it'll be multiple stories. All right, let's see. All right, that's all three. I think we'll just fold in again. Uh, pallet of insulation we'd need now. All right, so we'll have to go back to the Desert Springs thing. Now, one thing we can do, too, by the way, is uh, when we go ahead and look at our uh, shopping list, we can go to our jobs, and we can find out. This one's already 50% done. So you see that we're going to need uh, wall frames placed, which we just uh, which we just uh, finished. And then uh, on to the next thing, which is, uh, let's see, insulation. Then we'll need to uh, buy some more boards. So we can actually go back and buy everything that we need ahead of time, which is going to save us time. So let's do that now. Let's go buy everything we need, and we're going to leave it on the truck and get it delivered. So let's go do that. I've looked ahead on our shopping list to see what we need for future parts of the job, so that way we don't have to come back. And so uh, the rest of the job requires two pallets of boards, uh, MDF, and then the insulation over there as well. But I think we have to actually... Uh, rotate this. I wanted to like fit it long ways on the truck, but I guess this actually is better. So we'll try to see if we can organize the truck perfectly and uh, see if we can get enough room here for everybody. 
And uh, another cool thing is that you can get the materials delivered to the construction site if you want to. And additionally, you can also use a uh, you can also use a um, like a forklift too to load things up, which we could give that a try. But my truck's kind of parked right in the way, so let's just go ahead and uh, there we go. We'll skip that one for ease of use. Now again, remember this was ported from the mobile phone to consoles Xbox and PS4, which is available just a day after its release. So keep in mind that you know the controls. This base essentially this game is made for a cell phone, your you know your smartphone, and. Uh, they brought it to computers, so everything's not going to be like perfect, perfect. But they do let you get in some, uh, you know, cheats if you want to. And by cheats, I just mean some simple shortcuts, which actually do help uh, make things a little more fluid. All right, let's go ahead and drop this one here. We'll get close, but we'll move on to the next one. All right, MDF is next, and then the uh, insulation. I think we call this uh, plywood, by the way. Some people call it uh, plywood. There's also particle board. That's a different thing, but kind of the same. Not used in construct. Well, you can build things with it, but not, not a home. I wouldn't use particle board on a home. Unless you're crazy. Now let's load the front of the truck. Alright. Now we got ourselves two pallets of MDF, two boards, and the insulation's coming up next. Let's drop this over here. Relatively easy crane controls. It's nice that with the lack of precision, they give you a little little help in scooting things to where they have to go. A more uh, skilled crane technician would probably be able to get it in place, plus the addition of uh, another set of hands could scoot it where it needs to go. These are pretty uh, light objects, too, you know. Uh, light enough for a person to push them around. Alright, let's see. I know I've done that before. Alright, into place we go. All right, that is it. I'll see you at the construction site. All right, here we go. So it looks like we need to deliver this stuff inside the house. Now it says we need one thing of insulation later too, so we might need we might actually need to go back because only on the on the list of uh, materials only insulation is listed once. So I think we're going to build a second floor and it'll be needed again, but if that's the case, that's all right. We'll get it delivered. All right, let's unsecure things. Go ahead and drop those legs. Uh-oh, it's going to drop inside the hole. Uh, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the crane up and running. Oh, actually, wait, we were good there. And then we'll just get the crane unfolded. All right, let's see if we can do this now. Uh, what now? No, don't fold in. There we go. Deploy. Oh, it can actually detect if the land is not perfect. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was going to let us get away with it, and I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. So it looks like it actually detects whether or not the crane is, uh... I don't know, we're okay. We're not going too far. Hold on, game. It's all right. We're not going far. Game, we're not even going to go over onto the street. We're fine. All right, here we are with the materials now. Vehicle's been stabilized. Let's go ahead and grab the insulation. up over the top of the house we go. Well, this is going to be interesting. Wow, I can actually deliver that. That's incredible. I thought we were going to touch the side of the wall, but we did it. Alright, clear the area of the crane. No problem. Reset. And I think we're good now. There she goes. Beautiful. Now we can also buy a larger crane here too and uh, make use of that rather than having to use the uh, crane with the truck bed. Uh, or flatbed with crane. That's I guess the technical term. Alright, more things to deliver then for the building of the house. This is really cool. I, I wonder if we get to make a driveway. That would be really cool if they had a full construction. Digging the hole, installing piping. You know, and then doing the things around the house, like you know, building a fence, putting down a, uh, uh, putting down a driveway, building the concrete sidewalk, you know, to the house or something from the driveway, that kind of thing. Pretty cute. All right, boards are in place. MDF is next, so this is for our next floor, and then we'll need more boards and MDF for the roof. 
So that's probably why we grabbed double. But I think we'll need insulation for the top floor. And also probably for the, uh, for the roof as well. well. This crane is really fun to operate. All right, another task complete. We'll see another floor added. Let's reset. Oh, we need to get out of here. All right, now we can secure the load. Let's get out of here. We want this side of the building to be clear. Kind of cool you can see all the tire marks and everything of where we've been. Oh, now we're lifting uh, roof or wall frames. Into oh, no, it's floor frames. All right. So the second floor is about to be built. So this is where it'd be helpful to have the crane here, but I don't think we can actually unlock that. If I uh, go to the store and look at that, I, I don't think we're allowed yet to operate the crane until we have a higher ranking. So we could rent one. It'll be super. It, actually, we would get less money for it. So I, I want money. So we can do it with this truck crane for now. All right, floor frame one. Oh, careful. Oh, that's going to be nice. going to slide right in. It actually looks like it's already built there, doesn't it? I can see the edge of the wall. There we go. All right, that's one. Come on, let's grab the second. I didn't think we were high enough. There we go. A little bump with wood ain't going to hurt it. Probably make it stronger, but we slid right in. Dude, this is awesome. And one more to go. All right. Should be it right here. Reach out and drop her. Very nice. Task completed. We'll have to move the crane out of the way again. And that should be that. I'll finish that tomorrow, I promise. <laughs> That's usually my mantra. All right, on to the second floor now. More boards and MDF. And oh, another pallet of insulation. Okay, so we will need another one. So I'll deliver what we got, and then we have to go up top and give you give you the insulation, I see. Now let's unsecure the load. All right, let's get this done, and then let's drop off the insulation. I thought this would be a good opportunity then to show off the forklift, so we parked the flatbed on the side of the building, and now we get to, uh, yeah, look, we get to actually borrow the forklift for a little bit. A little rental. Boy, is that shiny. Is that supposed to be... Look at this thing. Whoa. Well, there we go. That's that's some nice speed for precision. All right, so we were picking up the uh, remaining insulation that we needed. We would have had room on the truck the first time, but I guess now we're going to grab the extra stuff. So I wonder how this works, if it actually uh, works effectively. Let's see if there's a different camera mode for this thing. Sometimes in the previous game, there was a different camera that you could go into for, uh, for this. Let's see. Um... Okay, I don't want to go there. I want to go into orbit camera. See if we can get real close to where we're going. There we go. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Can I tip the... F oh, you can. Okay. Now right, let's tip the forks. Ooh. There we go. Uh, what? Okay. I guess we're supposed to grab it from the other side. I didn't realize they weren't square, they're rectangular. Makes sense, though. But it is nice that they let you auto-attach, so it won't fall off or anything. So now we'll just uh, put it onto the side. And let's see if we can just drop her down nice and slow. Well, that was actually very, <laughs> very fast. Close enough, like a glove. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. We're done with this now. So let's go ahead and return that and go back to the big old truck and get out of here. Actually, we're going to secure the cargo. All right, I'll see you back at the site. All right, here we are. Just going to get a little closer and then uh, use the crane there to drop off the insulation. That should be perfect. Drop those legs, my man. And uh, unsecure the load. And right up into the window we go. 
All right, Crane, time to shine again. All right, into the window we go. Ten points. Looks like it's perfect for delivery. He shoots, he scores, right in. Boom, nice. All right, gotta get this out of the way. Ah, now we gotta pick up the windows, interesting. Looks like there's one we have to put in the front. Where's the one for the front? Oh, I see, We each side of it is a, a section. Okay, I think we parked in the right spot. Let's see if we can reach out and grab that real far one. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. Oh, just barely. All right, we got it. All right, we'll grab the far one. So that must be what they were doing with all that extra wood is making all the framing then for the windows. All right, come on back to the other side. And we'll put it into the uh, furthest. I think if, we, if I rotate it, it might be able to detect it. Uh, I guess not. You just need to get it close. Well, close enough. And again, if we had some hired workers or something, we could actually have people pull it in with ropes and secure it. Start nailing it into position. But it's just little old me. All right. Window number two. Ready to go. to the third one. Look at that, man. That is just epic. Look at this. This is so cool. I wish I could get a further shot of this. Is there a different camera I can go into? Ah, the orbit camera. Oh, but it only sticks with the crane. Darn. Oh, I don't like... Ooh, I don't like that. That's going to get me into an accident. <laughs> Alright, lift her up high back the other way and we're good swing it right into position rotate rotate is a little slow there we go and we're in position very nice all right, uh, lumber and pallet of MDF. Wow, we need that yet again? Oh, man. Wait, where's the other pallet of MDF go? This must be for building the uh, the roof. Okay, well, let's go grab some more. We run out of space on the truck, so one more trip. All right, watch out, coming through. All right, we got the boards and the MDF ready to go. Should be an easy delivery for both. A little bit of a stretch maybe for that last one, but let's see if we can get it. We're going to start with the uh, secure, unsecure the load. And let's go ahead and reach out here with our legs, secure it. Boards are first, and then the MDF. Now, again, it would be helpful to have a crane, but we can't have that at the moment, so this is uh, good enough. Although I don't think I've ever seen a home be built with an actual crane before, uh, or at least a home of this size probably wouldn't require a large crane. Just a uh, pal finger and a couple of construction workers will do just fine. All right, let's hook on. Oh, is it still secured? Toggle load securing. Load secured. Load released. It should be released. Oh, there we go. It was just the... Uh, I thought the black straps were still on there. It's just the straps of the actual boards. Okay. Down we go. We'll do this one with the close enough policy. There we go. As I'm just getting excited, I want to lift these roof. Uh, I think we're actually going to lift the roof panels into position, and it's going to be awesome. And that's going to be the end of our house. I wonder if we have to get shingles. I don't know. I didn't see it on the construction uh, shopping list. All right, this one's going to be close. Can we deliver it? Can we get close? Oh, 
right now. Come on now. You're being you're being you're being sloppy. Come on now. Alright, there we go. And that's gonna be close enough. Perfect. Alright, good enough. Alright, let's move the flatbed with the crane out of the way. Very nice. And I think we have to clear ourselves out of that position too. And we're good. Ah, now we gotta lift the panels into place. Alright, let's back her up. Throw those legs down again. Oh, we have to be uh, fully stopped to do that. Alright, this is the final job. Final part of the job. Vehicle stabilized. This is it. Let's finish our million dollar mansion. I don't know if it'll be a million dollars, but I feel like a million dollars building this house. I can't wait to see the other projects, too. I'm sure there's going to be uh, building high-rises, maybe parking garages, uh, small businesses, maybe, uh, uh, maybe, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see here soon enough. Can I not hook on here? It's got to hook over here, it seems. Oh, oh has it got to go right where we're parked? Oh, I thought we were going to hook up over here. Uh, let's try to... Get precise. Oh, back this way. It's going to try to hook us up underneath. Ah, there it is. That's really weird. But it'll do. All right. Okay, we're lifting. How's this going to go up? Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. So now we can just lift it straight up and swing it around. Well, that works. That's fine and dandy. There we go. Very nice. So then just three of these, I'm assuming. And I think one of them's going to have a window on it, so that should be pretty cool. Oh, we're going to have, like, the biggest house in the neighborhood. Look at that. A two-story home. And there's, like, a little... What is that over there? A park? Actually, wait a minute. That's somebody's backyard over there. Or two different backyards. One on the left has a barbecue and, like, a little seating area, and the other one pretty much the same thing, just a different design. Okay. That's pretty cool. All right, let's lower this into uh, position. Let's be a little more, more precise now before I was, you know, saving time, which is important on a construction site. But now we're going to go for precision. Clear the area. Well, I, I've still got to pick up... Wait, you only want me to put one on? There's still two more down there. Okay, I'll clear the area, I guess. Is that all... Is that all you want me to do? Just put one up? Well, that's no fun. I wanted to do the other three. Two. Well, it'll make three. All right, let's move our leg out of the area. What? You want me to do that each time? You know how silly that is? All right, let's move over here so we don't anger the, uh, anger the uh, construction gods, I guess. Well, that didn't make sense. We could have sat in the same spot and moved it each time. All right, let's try over here now. All right, vehicle stabilized. There's our hook in position. All right, it looks like the last one will be the one with the window. Makes sense, right? You wouldn't want a window in the middle of the house. That would just kind of be weird. Not really going to get a lot of light from the center of the house. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're hooked on. All right, let's raise it up. Now we just got to rotate. And of course, we could have had it there, but I want to try a little more precise job. Get her into position. Okay, this is it. Should be number two here. Oh. Well, the controls were a little more precise, but that's fine. Okay, we just got to move out of the way again. I think we just move the boom. We should be fine. There we go. And then on to the last. Oh, there's two more pieces. So four. Okay. So we got two more to do. All right, let's move that mouse out of the way. What are you doing over here, mouse? All right, two more pieces to do then. So this one, same as last time. We'll just go to the other side of the stairs. 
And then we will be on to the final one with the window. Oh, this is... Oh, I see. This is a... A doorway to get to the other side where there will be a room on top. Got it. That's really cool. So the house has a room on top, too. That's nice. That's where I can have all my model train sets. Now I'll probably do that in the basement, let's be honest. Basement's where it's at when it comes to model trains. You got a lot more space down there. Okay. She's in position right about now. And let's just go ahead and lower her down for securing to the uh, the frame. There we go. All right, last one. All right, now we got to clear the. F I wonder why we have to do that every time. Why we have to like clear the area? I guess it's so the game can trigger the next sequence of events for what we need to grab. We could have stayed uh, where we were originally, but I didn't want to have to fold the legs up every time just to magically uh, get the next objective. Alright, well we've had to make more trips than I thought to the uh, building supply store, so that's why if this had multiplayer, which I've, I've heard that they were thinking about, or that they may have been working on, that'll be a big plus, so that way you can assemble things and someone can truck back and forth. So someone can do the trucking, and someone can do the uh, assembly, or the pouring of the concrete, or working the crane, or what have you. Alright, let's swing this one this way now beautiful little window at the top of the house. This house is going to look gorgeous. They just need to use the MDF now to put on the uh, top of the house and then the roofing. And then the, uh, I guess all the interior work of the drywall, electrical, plumbing, carpet, uh, installation of the, uh, you know, the kitchen appliances and such will all begin. All right, let's get out of the way. Oh, it looks like they want everything out of here. This is it, this is the big moment. Wait, listen to the music. It's like gotten all dramatic all of a sudden. All right, let's get all of our vehicles out of here. All right, I'm going to park them all on the street. So now we got to get everything out of here. This is the end of the job. This is the end of our first job. We're going to do it. Okay, I'm just going to park this up here. Okay, let's get the uh, concrete mixer out of there. Actually, wait. This is a rental. Shouldn't I have just returned this? How do you return rentals? Wow, the dramatic music. Uh, return. There we go. I guess I didn't even need to hold on to that thing, but... Then again, it was a good idea just in case they made us pour concrete again. I wonder... Why does Backhoe have dirt in it? Oh, I know. Because it it's full. Walls. Okay. And out of, out of here we go. Let's see the house. We did it! Oh my goodness! Oh, we didn't need the concrete mixer to make that little basketball court. Look at that, folks! Our first home completed. Oh, that is wonderful. Actually, this is my this is my new house now. I'm gonna hide you. Oh, I thought. Th okay, I thought that was a neighbor. Oh, this is this is the car I drive now. This is my backhoe. I drive it to and from work. All right, everyone. Well, that is it for our first cons uh, episode of Construction Simulator 2 Pocket Edition. This, again, is available on Steam for your PC, also available on Xbox and PS4. So check it out if you want to see more. Make sure you click or tap that like button again. And welcome to all you new subscribers. I'll see you uh, for more Construction Sim. I might even live stream this one. This is a pretty good game to live stream because there's a lot, of, a lot to do and a lot of good steps, and it's a lot of fun. So I'll see you soon. If you had fun, good. I'm happy I could entertain. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.